What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my current subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future ratings. This is free general collective rating for all signs, cups, and sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I received a channeling in this morning. It's 8 5 2022, 9 10 a.m. I'm going to deliver it. I might pull some cards, I might not. So I just want to let y'all know. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, so the channel message I received was uh, someone's about to try to come back and beg your forgiveness. Um, they're not worth your time of day, is what I heard. Someone's about to try to come back and try to beg your forgiveness. They're not worth your time of day. Is what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Uh, whoever this is, I feel it's a very low, low vibrational energy. Um, I, if they they feel the here's my thing. If they feel the need to beg your forgiveness, then they need to go. It's something they need feel obviously the need to beg your forgiveness for. So it's some kind of I feel a like crime or crimes. Go report it to the correct reporting official energy. Don't come back and try to beg your forgiveness is the way I look at it, unless you want them to come back. I mean, of course, you have the free willing choice to allow them back. I sure as hell wouldn't. But, I mean, you can if you want. But the thing is, is if they feel the need to come back and try to beg your forgiveness, they need to go report something to the police, the feds, uh, investigator, or investigators, what have you, what have you, not to you. If they feel that guilty, they need to go report crime or crimes to the police. And that's just the truth. Or the feds. Or what have you, what have you. That's the way I look at it. They need to go the release and put offset their guilt onto official reporting energy if they're that damn guilty. And have that much guilt and remorse inside themselves. How are you going to help fix it? Because you're not. Help fixing it is officially reporting it. It's the way I look at it. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. I mean, I'm serious. I'm serious about this. If there's a reason they feel such huge remorse and guilt against uh, towards you, well, then if it's probably because crime or crimes were committed. So go report it and get the guilt off your chest by an official report. What what what's the? I mean, what is it going to do? What's it going to do if they come back to you? Oh, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me and grovel at your feet. You'll probably be like, what? That's what I would do. Go report it. Whatever the hell it is. If somebody needs to hear that. Spirit messages you have reflected. Attraction. I heard take it. Attraction. Number 44 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 44, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 44, attraction. For some, they want a relationship with you, but you are not interested. Some, they know of serious crimes. They need to go report them. Okay, I heard for some, they want a relationship with you, but you're not interested. Um, and so they're very attracted to you. I think physically attracted, sexually attracted, or maybe both. Maybe mentally attracted or intellectually attracted for some. But I feel more physical or sexual, sex want energy here. Um, and maybe that's why they want to beg your forgiveness so they can get your pants. But I heard you're not interested. I heard you're not interested. And I heard some of them, they do know knowledge on serious crime or crimes. And I heard they need to go report it. So they need to go. And I heard that from the spiritual realm. They need to go report it to the police. Okay, so they're attracted to you. Physically attracted. Well, okay. You can be physically attracted to people all damn day long in the universe. Hell, there was this nice ass looking man in the Mavco every day. Uh, not every day. Yesterday. He was really nice looking. Hell, he was very nice looking. I could picture myself doing something with him. Would I ever do something with him? No, I don't know that man from Adam. But he was very attractive. My point is you can be attracted to a million people in the world. But doing the right thing and being attracted to somebody is two different things. And that's just the truth. Go do the right thing. I heard there was something that needs to be reported to the police or feds or what have you, what have you. Official reporting energy. Re report it. Do the right thing. Be a good person. And that's just the truth. Spirit messages you have reflected. Like 
Self-love reverse, number six can be a very significant number in one's life. Number six, self-love reverse. These people do not love themselves enough. But through many series of chain of events, shocking series of chain of events, one of these people will go to the police. They will report it. They will do the right thing. Okay? I heard these people don't have self-love for themselves. So they don't have self-love for themselves. They don't take the necessary time, energy, or self-care for themselves. They don't protect their energy. I think they're around negative, low vibrational energies. Well, they need to learn to love themselves. You can't love other people until you learn to love yourself first. And that's just the truth. Everybody needs to hear that. But uh, I heard one of these people will, through shocking series of chain events, they will go to the police soon. They will. They will stand up and they will report something, whatever the hell it is. So good for them. Good for them. They're going to do the right thing. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. It's going to make it move very fast when they go to the police. It's going to make it move very fast when they go to the police. And someone will get offered hush money for this. One will take it, one will not. And someone will get offered hush money for this. One person will take the hush money and one will not. So maybe the person goes to police get offered hush money for all I know. If anybody ever came to me and tried to offer me hush money, I shove it up their ass. And that's just the truth. That goes against my moral, ethics, standards, integrities, and values. And that's just the damn truth. I want no hush money. I want the four payouts I was uh, deserved by being wrongfully terminated four times in the universe of my city. That's the money I want. I don't want no damn hush money, but that's just me. Message number seven can be a very significant number in one's life. Number seven, message. A significant phone call is about to become very significant in this. A significant text message, a significant group chat, significant email, and a significant letter in the United States Postal Service. Well, that's a lot of communication. So you plug it in how it resonates. A significant email, significant group chat, significant phone call, significant um, message, and a significant face-to-face. -face. And a significant face-to-face. And a significant face-to-face -face conversation. It's about to become very significant in the universe regarding these situations. So message energy, this is communication, whether it's face-to-face, -face, whether it's snail mail, United States Postal Service, I heard specifically, or group chat, or text message, or email, or what have you, what have you. It's about to become very significant. It sounds like in a lot of people's lives, and one of these people, I heard they are going to make it right, they're going to go to the police. Now, they may be the one offered hush money. And that's just the truth. Or it might be somebody else offered a hush money. But I heard two people in this situation is going to be offered hush money. One is going to accept it and one is not. If I was ever offered hush money, which I've never been, but if I was, I, would sh I wouldn't physically shove it up somebody's ass, but I would tell them, I do not accept it. And in my head, I would be saying in my head telepathically to this person, go shove it up your ass. And that's just the truth. So I'd act appropriate in the 3D, but in my head, I'd be telling them to shove it up their ass. And that's just the truth. But somebody is going to accept the hush money. Is what it is, man. Uh, earth sign, high vibrational earth sign is getting a huge wake-up call. Huge. High vibrational earth sign is getting a huge wake-up call. Huge. So whoever you are, earth sign, you're, by, uh, you're getting a huge wake-up call. And through many shocking series of chain events, a Leo feminine is about to get her home paid off. Completely paid off. Someone is tired of this bullshit. They are tired of it. And through many shocking series of chain events, a Leo feminine is about to get her house paid off. Uh, paid off, I heard. My God, it must be nice. Um, I heard they're tired of this bullshit. So a high vibrational earth sign is getting a huge wake-up call towards Capricorn Virgo. Um, Masculine. You could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Haver, Jupiter, Charts, whoever you are, high vibrational, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Masculine. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrities, and values. I don't feel you're in category one over here where you're going to be groveling at somebody's feet, begging for forgiveness, and have no self-confidence and no self-esteem, and wazzy, wazzy, wazzy. I don't think you're that person. I think you're somebody else. Um, whoever you are, sir. Um, I love it. And somebody's about to, a Leo Femme, I heard, is about to get her house paid off. Somebody's hired the bullshit. So whoever you are, um, for some, you could be helping pay off the Leo Femme's house. 
For some, you could be the Leo Femme. House about to get paid off. I feel it is a mortgage. I don't feel it's rent. I feel it's a mortgage. Somebody's tired of the bullshit. So whoever this is. Must be nice. Hell, I, I've still got quite a lot. Well, I don't have quite a lot. I, I have a, I've paid off a good amount of my mortgage over five years, but I still have a good amount left. And that's just the truth. Even though I paid over the, uh, like the minimal mortgage payment, I pay over it every month, even on a very, very, very limited income right now, on a very limited income, because I only get income right now through uh, donations and uh, the YouTube uh, AdSense um, right now. Uh, but, uh, but even on that, I still pay over. And I just really, really minimalize my spending with my groceries and gas and things like that. So, um, but that's just me. Uh, but a Le whoever this Leo Fem in the universe is, I feel she has a mortgage, and I heard she's about to get it paid off. Um, somebody's tired of the bullshit. It could be you, have a virtual earth sign that's tired of the bullshit, or somebody else. I'm not sure, man. I'm not y'all. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? I'm about to, I'm going to, listen, I won't be on here tonight. I want to let everybody know I finished all the truths hidden for August of 2022. The gist of 96 is caught up until 8-8 of 2022. So, um, that is, um, uh, Monday. It's caught up until Monday. Okay. Truth Hidden's called up. Um, I might do glow up in a few days or my, maybe, uh, I might do it. It's only 9 21 AM. Hell, I might do it today. Um, I, I, to the, this evening, my kids are that my kids currently live in Knoxville, Tennessee for anybody doesn't know. They have switched primary residences and they live in Knoxville, Tennessee now. Okay, I live in Huntsville, Alabama. So I have visitation with them tonight. They're an hour ahead of me. And so I'm going up there tonight to visit with them. My visitation privileges this weekend. Okay, so um, I won't be on here tonight. My visitation's at 4 p.m. and they're an hour ahead. So I have to leave here at um, uh, 1 p.m. And it's 9.22 a.m. right now. So um, I won't be on here this evening, tonight, what have you. I might, I might. Turn it on in the hotel, maybe. We'll see, okay? All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day, and namaste.